Hey, what's poppin'? What's crack a lackin'? What's happening? So what do you do to pass the CDL permit test? What do you have to do to pass it? Well, let me, let me first start off by saying yesterday was uh, August the 2nd, which was Friday, 2019, and I went to take, went to the DMV to take my uh, permit test for the CDLA, and I did pass it. Okay, there's three tests that you gotta take in order to uh, get the CDLA permit. Uh, the first one is the general knowledge. The second one is the air brake test. And the third one is the combination test. The general knowledge test has 30 questions. The uh, the air brake test has 25 questions and the combination test has 20 questions. And I think on each one of them you can get like five or six wrong, something like that. I know on the general knowledge you, you can only get uh, six wrong on the general knowledge, I know that. And I think on the combination and the air brake test, I think it may be like four, five, six, somewhere around it. But anyway, those three, those three tests you gotta uh, to study in order to get the CDLA permit. General knowledge, air brake test, and combination test. And what you wanna do, this is what I did. Okay, the first thing I did was uh, study the book. You know, it's, you don't have to read the whole book in order to get to, uh, the CDLA permit, but you just wanna read like the beginning, which is uh, like the introduction, you know, introduction to CDL, you wanna read that. So, just got a, some kind of comprehension on what you're going into and uh, you want to read the general knowledge section and you want to read the air brake section and the combination section just read all those pages it's not a lot of pages a lot of people be saying they don't want to read the book and all that type of stuff it's too thick it's not that many pages you know what I'm saying if you really want to see the L you know what I'm saying you're gonna be motivated to uh, learn something new and read through these pages. So that was the first thing I did was uh, read read the uh, these chapters and uh, everything that's on the test it comes out of this book right here. So you know the first thing I did was read this book and then I uh, also after I finished reading the book and felt like you know what I'm saying I read enough to uh, comprehend. You know each of the different subjects I uh, downloaded a few apps on my phone if you go to like the free app store on your phone it got uh, like a lot of different free apps where you can download the app and it has like a bunch of questions for each each of the subjects for the general knowledge you got questions for the uh, for the combination test and they had questions for the air brake test you want to study you want to go through all of those questions I went through all of those questions. Sometimes on some of them apps, like the questions that are hard for you, you can put stars by them. So that way you can come back to those questions and uh, just redo them over so you can get more familiarized with them. And a lot of a lot of times you want to reference back to the book. So like when you're going through the questions and you get to a question that you kind of unsure about, look that question up in the book, you can get a clear understanding of why you don't understand that question, something like that. So, you know, First thing I said, like I did, first thing I did was, uh, like I said, go through the book, download some apps on your phone, and then I also went on my computer and just typed in CDL practice test. And then you get a lot of bunch of different sites that'll pop up. A lot of sites will pop up. You know, they got questions on there too, on the general knowledge, combination of air break. Go through those questions. You know what I'm saying? Go through each one of them, because if you're serious about getting your CDL, you know you should you should stay motivated to go through these questions and, and learn them not just to pass the test but you know you, you want to get a knowledge of what you finna get your uh you about to get into so you can make this money you know what i'm saying so you study the book download some apps uh go to your computer type in cdl practice permit test and go through those after you do all that 
then you want to relax and see what you know you know what I'm saying pull up some YouTube videos on how to pass the test and you know they got a few uh, sites where you have instructors on there you know explaining the different uh, stuff that's going to be on the test and stuff like that so if you do all that stuff you know you study the book you download the app you go to your computer you do questions on there and you uh, watch some YouTube videos you should be prepared to go up there to take the uh, CDL test at your local DMV. In Illinois, we call it the DMV. Some places I know they may call it BMV or something like that, but here we call it the DMV. Go there and take the test. You know, uh, when I took the test when I took the test yesterday. A lot of the questions that was on the test is the same exact questions that's on those apps, and you know the questions that's on the computer. They're the same exact questions. You know what I'm saying? So, and plus you're going to know it. You're going to have the knowledge from studying that you're going to know the questions anyway. You know what I'm saying? When you, when you do take the test, you know, like when you get to certain questions that you are unsure about, if you just slightly unsure about it, you push the skip button. That way you can come back to that question at the end. Well, if you get enough right, you might even have to answer that question at the end. So, you know what I'm saying? That's a good tip for you to pass the test. You know what I'm saying? You want to skip some of those questions that you when you're taking a test like say you, you want a general knowledge test you have question number six and it asks you something what's the thread depth of a tire or something like that and you just kind of unsure about that question push the skip button that way you go to the next question because the test is counts on how many you really how many you get right you know what i mean so if you get enough right by the end of the test you may not even have to answer the question that you're not sure about. But even if you're unsure about the question, just skip it. You know what I'm saying? So that's basically all you got to do to pass the test. I went up in there, took all three of them all at once. Now, you, you don't have to take all three of them all at once, but I just felt comfortable take, taking all three of them all at once. You know what I'm saying? So you, uh, and also when you, you know, you got to be prepared when you go up there. You know what I'm saying? The first time I went up there, I didn't have my birth certificate. The second time, I needed a hard copy of my license. So, they, you got to bring your birth certificate with you. You got to bring your license. And make sure you bring your credit card or something like that. Because I think the fi the fee was like 50 bucks, uh, 25. I don't, I forgot. <laughs> it was just yesterday. I forgot what I paid. But, uh, yeah. And uh, that's about it. I'm getting your, your permit, you know. Whether you go through a school or whatever, you're gonna have to study, and that's the process that you should go through in order to uh, get the CDL permit. So I just wanna say good luck to y'all, love, and possibly we'll see y'all on the road.